All right, let's take a live look over Denver tonight. And uh, you know, little ghouls and goblins across the metro. They're probably going to need a little extra layer of something something before heading out for trick or treating tonight. Absolutely. <laughs> Here's Mike Nightmare Nelson with our <laughs> frightening <laughs> forecast. <laughs> We have quiet weather tonight, but let's be really careful out there, folks, because uh, some spots could get a little icy, especially on the north side of buildings and things where the sun has not melted off that snow. And of course, lots of little people out there in their costumes, so please be looking out. Had a couple of bugs crawling by on the screen. I guess that was for a little Halloween treat. As far as our headlines, nothing scary as far as the weather concerned for tonight. High clouds tomorrow, warmer and dry this week and little or no precipitation for a while. We'll call it dry and ghoul tonight with 44 at 7 p.m. 34 by 11 p.m. light winds and mainly clear skies. On this Halloween, our high temperature in Denver was 51, 17 was the low, 79 is the record, Halloween 1950, and just back in 2019, it was down to 7, 59 and 31 of the averages. No precipitation today from that storm. We had 52 one hundredths of an inch of liquid melted down out at DIA. It's 51 there now, 52 downtown, falling pressure, light winds, and good air quality. So it's a nice late afternoon of the evening. Colder air slipping off to the east of us now. Showers and thunderstorms on this Hallow's Eve out on the east coast. Warm and dry to the west. There's a little warm front coming in. Oftentimes we get some high clouds in association with such a front. Not as cold by morning with a little high cloud cover around. It'll be 27 for Denver and Akron, 24 at Ray, 14 at Leadville, down to 10 at Alamosa and 11 at Gunnison. As cold as 11 at Kremlin and will be in the mid 30s at Broomfield by morning. The same at Highlands Ranch. A pretty sunrise, I think, with some of those high clouds highlighted early in the day. By midday, high clouds, but milder and in the afternoon be partly cloudy. Depending on just how thick those clouds get, we might make 60, but I'm thinking more like 58 tomorrow officially. Just enough sunshine being blocked. Mountains will be in the 40s farther to the west. Grand Junction at 58, the same down at Cortez and Durango. Some mid to upper 60s over eastern and southeastern Colorado. Here comes the warm front wing by, so by Thursday we're warmer. The cold air slips off across the Great Lakes. Friday, same story, mild and dry. The weather pattern will start to shift a little over the weekend into next week, but not a whole lot. We'll be slightly cooler over the weekend and a chance of showers next week, but in between, great weather. 58 tomorrow, 65 on Thursday, and 68 on Friday. Saturday, Sunday, low 60s, which is still above average. And then Monday, clouds increase. By Tuesday, a little bit of mountain snow and a few rain showers possible in the plains. About 55 expected for Denver. Glad to see that temperature slowly oh, increasing. Yes. <laughs>